what's up welcome back to my channel so tonight i felt like doing my weekly pamper routine um i want to say it is it's sunday and it's about 10 13. so yeah so i'm going to be doing my face mask shaving my face tinting my eyebrows shower exfoliating all that good jazz i'm gonna show you guys the products that i like to use so if you want to see my weekly pamper routine then just keep watching okay so first things first um i usually like to go in with some type of chemical peel i want to try this one out from um freeman it's a one minute peel it's their hemp milk peel and it's supposed to be for oily um combo skin and it's an exfoliating lactic acid plus omega-6 and it's supposed to be gentle um usually i do a mixture of chemical and physical exfoliators throughout the week i kind of like to alternate usually the chemical exfoliators like this or um uh the dermalogica uh daily micro exfoliant um i usually try and use this but i saw this i work for ulta so um i saw this on the website and i was like oh let me try it. i love my dermalogica though so okay but basically um it, the chemical pretty much helps get rid of dark spots and like acne scarring things like that it helps below the surface whereas like if you wanted to use um okay so like say you wanted to use like a physical face scrub or it's more like like okay if you use a lip scrub the way the lip scrub feels that's what you consider a physical exfoliator same thing with if you do with your lips it's just a little bit more abrasive on your skin um and it usually only takes off the top layer so it's not really getting into your layers of skin to help get rid of hyperpigmentation and darkness so that's where you would do one of your chemical peels chemical peels at home so yeah um it just says to apply an even layer to clean dry face um wait 10 to 15 seconds and then you gently massage skin for about 30 seconds or until you feel a light exfoliating effect wash off with warm water all right well, let's do it um i have all my little these little fuzzy scrunchies i got the idea from alasari or uh karen um another youtuber and it pretty much just helps catch the water so it doesn't drip down my arms um i also heard that there's like actual like little towel sleeves that you can use but my scrunchies work just fine so i'm just gonna use some scrunchies okay. all right so i'm opening this maybe i'm not opening this are you open bubble oh you got bubbles Liquidy. Oh, baby, she liquidy. Okay. Oh, definitely don't do what I just did. Okay. Yes. No, we gonna. Yeah, she milk, honey. She okay. All right. All right. We have to come at me like that. Okay. Ew, it's already peeling. My skin in quarantine right now has been so jacked up, like, ugh, makes no sense. Yeah, this is kind of messy. I would definitely prefer my Dermalogica compared to this. It smells nice though. It's just Dermalogica, she ain't, she ain't all of this, okay? You know, she, mm -mm. So I'm just going to rub that in circles. And as you can see, it's already giving me that peeling effect. This reminds me of my uh, philosophy exfoliator. It has like pineapple enzymes and stuff, which is what helps peel. helps peel the dead skin 
gonna rub this in my eyebrows as well because I do plan on tinting my eyebrows. I like to tint my eyebrows every week. Tint and groom them at least. I mean, I ain't got no eyebrows, but the little brows I do have, I would like them to be neat. It makes my makeup application easier as well. I ain't got to do as much on my eyebrows. Okay, so as you can see, she dry, she crusty, but not no more. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this off with some warm water and I will be right back. All right, so as you can see, my face is still wet. So I've rinsed that off and now I'm gonna go in with um, the cleanser that I'm using at the moment. It's from First Aid Beauty and it's just the Pure Skin Facial Cleanser and the stuff is Amazing. Amazing. I don't like the smell, but she do what I need her to do when I need her to do it. So I do about that much. That's probably too much. I think it says like a little dime size amount, but it's my face. So I like to rub it in when my face is just a little damp. Um, It does suck up, but I'm gonna add more water. I usually like to rub it in almost like a lotion at first and as you notice I usually target stuff kind of like in this portion of my forehead because that's where I be having all my little issues and breakouts and not drinking enough water and I get really bad dry patches like right in this section why that's between my skin and the Lord so I ain't got nothing to do with that but we're gonna exfoliate it and moisturize it as best as possible. So once I work that and it's real like thick, I'm gonna add a little water. And we're gonna size that bad boy up. this off with lukewarm water and then we're going to go into our mask and our eyebrows yes i know some people use paper, paper towels but i have a towel i'm gonna use a towel as long as i'm not rubbing my face I use a towel. Mm -hmm. i just like to pat dry and then my lips is crusty but we're gonna take care of that as well. Make sure I end the wiggles. Okay, well, that's the only thing about using the towel. You just get lit everywhere. And you see, I have a few little spots that kind of want to pop up on my skin. Since the store is closed, I haven't had a facial <laughs> with extractions, and my skin is upset. She said, we're not even talk about what's going on with black kids in my nose. Okay? So, like I was saying, now we are going to go on to our mask. Another Freeman product. I work at Ulta. It's a brand at Ulta. It's affordable. You can get it at Walmart also. Um, and this is just my detoxifying charcoal and black sugar mud mask. Um, usually my pamper routines, I mean I try to do masks regularly, but I usually do sheet masks. Um, that's usually part of my morning routine. Um, but at night, and of course like for my weekly, my weekly routine, I want something just a little bit more thicker. So I like to go in with a clay mask. Um, it's not necessarily detoxifying, it could be hydrating, clarifying, pore cleansing, doesn't matter. I like to go on a play mask. Um, I wash my face, put on my mask, tint my eyebrows, and then go take a shower because the steam from the shower will help open my pores, which will help my detoxifying mask do its job on my buddies and my friends that like to pop up randomly. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go in and tint my eyebrows. 
I ordered this uh, Godfroy, I guess that's how you say it. I ordered this little um, kit off of Amazon. I don't have the box anymore, I destroyed it. Um, I ordered this little kit off of Amazon and um, it just comes with these little capsules that have like the dye. It's meant for your hair, but I use it for my eyebrows. So um, it's like, meant to like spot treat like the front or the edges of your hair or whatever. So I usually just open one of these little capsules and I pour like half of it into the little mixing um, mixing tray it came with and it also came with this little brush. So I pour it in here and then I mix it up with this side of the brush and then yeah I just go in and I put it on. Um, it says you can leave it on for up to five to ten minutes so I usually put a mask on I'll put this, I'll put my eyebrows stuff on, I'll tint my eyebrows, and then I usually go take a shower, and I just leave it on during the whole shower because I have no eyebrows. <laughs> so I let the tint sit on there longer so they can be just a little bit darker, and they also last longer because I put oil on my eyebrows throughout the week, which makes it fade away. So, yeah. So now before I wash all of this off, as you can see, my brows, baby, they dark. We love it, okay? We love that, all right? But um, I'm going to go in and fix this lip situation. This is just one of the e.l.f. Um, lip exfoliators. This one is the brown sugar one. And as you can see, I am pretty much almost out. So I'm going to exfoliate my lips so that way I can just wash it all off when I wash off my face and my eyebrows. All right, now I'm just going to rinse off my face. Um, you're supposed to wash your eyebrows off with cool water. Um, I pretty much just use cool water for my entire face, mask, lips, and eyebrows. So I'm gonna rinse my face with some cool water now. All right, so that is done. As you can see, like I said, the longer you leave it on your eyebrows, the darker they are. So they pretty much look like I've already filled them in. Love that, okay? Because they are gonna fade dramatically throughout the week. My lips are raw as frick right now, but they feel nice. Um, so for my lip mask, I'm gonna go in with the Maman. Uh, this is their lip sleeping mask. Um, it's just plum blossom and uh. Oh, good okay so now before I go in and do any of my skincare routine I can take these off thank you I am going to do a close-up pretty much and finish uh, grooming my brows so like I'm gonna trim them and then pluck any hairs that basically aren't in the area that I wanted them to be in um, so now I'm just going to go in with my Thayer's um, witch hazel I just have the unscented kind and I'm going to tone my face a little cotton round I just pat that okay once I'm done with my toner I like to go in with my hyaluronic acid this is from uh, Cos RX or C-O-S-R-X and it is, I want to say, a Korean brand and it's just their Hyaluronic Acid Hydro Power Essence and I usually only use this at night. Um, if you guys would like a morning skincare routine, um, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, so I'm just going to take, I usually just take one and a half pumps that was two pumps I usually have one and a half pumps or two pumps and at first I kind of spread it around 
I make sure to get it underneath my eye. Next, um, for my nightly eye cream, I usually go in with this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Complex. A bit. She expensive. Okay. And I kind of rub it in right here because this is where I have most of my darkness and puffiness. I'm going to go in with uh, this Dermalogica Sound Sleep Coon Transformative Night Gel Cream. I have a lot going on. Even though I'm oily skinned at night, I like to overhydrate my face so that way when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to do as much hydrating. I don't have to do as many hydrating um, steps or use as many hydrating uh, products because usually when I wake up, my skin is feeling very moisturized and hydrated, so I usually just have to wash my face and then go in with the water gel cream. So, but to continue tonight, now I'm going to go in with this Naturally Good For You um, Sleeping Beauty. This is their um, Rishi and Shiitake Mushroom MSN Sulfur. And um, this is just meant to boost moisture to skin cells for a luminous, hydrated appearance. My very last step is going to be putting on the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Moroccan Argan Oil. And I'm like almost out of this, but luckily I have backups on backups. Um, so I do use a facial oil at night. Let's do five drops tonight on a little parch. I rub it and instead of rubbing this in, I just pat it. And I'm very careful around my eyebrows. Alright guys, and that is my finished weekly pamper routine. And like I said, if you guys were interested in my morning get ready with me skincare routine, then just let me know down in the comments down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. And yeah. I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.